Hi friends, it's Gloria from Golden Bucket Farm. I'm the Jersey Lady One here on YouTube. And um, I am a book lover. I like to read them, and I especially like to make them. So I have three quick shares of um, some of the books that I've made recently. Yesterday I shared... Um, how I made this Franken book. This is a paper bag book that I made to store my painty papers and other tall craft materials, I guess you'd say, because like, yeah, these are, that's painty paper too, but these are some big stickers from the, or sticker packs from the Dollar Tree. And yeah, I told, told how I made this from two grocery sacks. So I've got that all loaded up, and I'm really happy with that. Just put a hair tie on for the, for the closure there. And then I was watching the other day, and I'm going to have to see who that was is um anyway i will i'll put a link there was a, a gal making little booklets from um project life cards or journaling cards and she used frayed fabric uh muslin fa fabric for her hinges on her little book and I had some potty paper rolls that I had flattened and I glued the ends shut and I was just thinking what could I do with that and so this is another kind of Franken book this was my prototype so kind of look at the possibilities or the potential rather than you know how it looks right now but um I made, she made a quad fold little book from her papers or her little cards and I thought well I could do that with my with my uh, toilet paper rolls I covered them completely uh, wrapped them in in some thinner single-sided uh, pattern paper and then used cardstock craft cardstock to make the hinges and I think I like this what is that that's an inch wide okay and I stamped on it with my script stamp I, I really like that but this I cut with my decorative scissors. And this one is too wide. So, you know, you just have to kind of work with that. But anyway, I'll come back with a video about this. But I thought that I really, I really like that. The possibilities of this. Um, I have, you know, I've made the regular toilet paper books or bathroom tissue books <laughs> before this one is a birthday book that I made I, ha I have a video about this that was quite a while ago um, but um, yeah I'll come back and do some more on this I really would like to figure out some way that I can put the I love my my uh, seam binding bows, my double bows, but for other people to be able to slide those back on, that's not the best. I'm thinking if I could get some little elastic here in the back. So um, if you have some suggestions about that, that would be a good deal. Okay, the other thing I saw lately was um, people making... Um, 
well, it was, I think it was called a big pocket book, and they used double sided uh, printed paper, heavier, you know, like, like the Graphic 45 or Bow Bunny weight, you know, and they made little books from them. Well, I've been making books recently from file folders, and I shared this book before. Here I left the tabs on. I get this in frame. Oh my goodness, now somebody's vacuuming behind me. Um, anyway, I wondered if I could combine the idea of my uh, file folder books and the, and the big pocket, you know, those together, because I have a lot of single-sided... Um, print uh, pattern paper that I'd like to use up. So this was my first. This was my first try. The base of this is are is file folders, and I took my pattern paper and whomped off. What is this? It's been a little bit since I did that. I took three inches off, actually three and a half inches off, because I um, turned the bottom up and glued it to the main part of the paper. So I took my 12 inch and cut off three and a half inches, because if I folded the back of the plain or the single-sided paper see it would be white down here and I didn't want that so I just cut off three and a half inches and so that determines the size of my of my book and the gal I saw and again I'm gonna to have to put a link down that she made her little books this pocket across here was all open um, but that doesn't, that didn't work for me when I tried putting it into the, or onto the file folders, because I need that for strength, because the single-sided paper isn't strong enough, you know, to, like, well, yeah, just those thicker papers, so I needed the file folder for the strength. Well, this one, I glued, kind of just stuck the paper in there and glued that way. Well, then it didn't want to open all the way, so I had to split it. So I just, just ignore that. I just put um, uh, washi tape there to kind of, you know, smooth out the rough edges there. Okay, so then I tried again, and here I put the book down onto the paper, but then it buckled, you know, it didn't pull it, it buckled in the middle, so I had to slit it with my, um, you know, my little craft knife, and so I had to resort to some washi tape again. Here I just cut the paper in half and put half the paper on one side and half on the other, but I didn't get the gap in the middle even. So this one worked out. These are perfectly smooth and the pockets work just real well. But um, I had trouble with the middle there. This one was was one where I tried again. I thought, well, well maybe I would with practice I could get it to work better. So this is one of the ones that I put down, where I put the book down onto the gluey pattern paper, but I still, I got a fold there, and so that's why I had to use this trim. I really like the idea here that I've got the, the big pocket all the way across. I do like that. Um, so finally, I come to these pages. I kept trying. I kept persevering. And um, so here, yeah, I've, 
I settled on the idea that I take my 12 in 12 by 12 paper, cut it at six uh, sideways and, or you know up and down so I have the two pages. And then off the bottom, I cut three and a half inches for my pocket, three inches for the pocket and a half inch to fold under the single sided paper and um, so that the bottom of the pocket is smooth and um, finished. So yeah, I am really happy with how these turned out. Now here I had, I don't know, something happened. My pockets weren't even, so I'm getting better. All right, the next one, this is the next one I tried. And this one I'm just, I'm really pretty happy with. Um, I ended up putting score tape along this um, edge, the inside edge, so that I could really control where the uh, or the size of the seam there and I left the backing on the score tape and laid the page where I wanted it I started just a little edge before I put it down of the backing and folded it out you know and once I got it down and could hold it really well then I just pulled that off and that that really left my, or made my center seams really well. And of course, my pages were just a little bigger than my file folder book. And so then I could just um, cut off, cut off the edges. So I only had to be careful about this center seam and that my bottom edge was lined up. So from that, this book is perfect. I'm really happy with how the center seams came out, except this one where um, I flipped the page too soon and I got a little, the two pages stuck together a little bit, so I had to put some decoration down the middle. But um, I'm really pleased with how that turned out. So I will make a tutorial about these. My last one I made I'm the most happy with, and this one's ready to go as a gift. Um, I did the same thing, but I used a different format. I did a gatefold uh, for this one, but basically the same, the same thing. Um, and here I took the last little bit because there wasn't a pocket on the front or back. There was a little bit of scrap here. So I used that to make a gift card for the, for the book. And I made mats uh, so that four by six photos could go either way. And, um, put slits in the corners so that the photo can slip in and added a little um, journaling place on the back of each mat so each pocket has has a mat like that to work so um, yeah I'll make a tutorial on how these are put together but I am just really pleased with with these uh, with how this little book turned out and I will be making more for sure. So, okay. Um, that's what I have today. We've got company, family company coming today. So I need to hop along. Uh, but I wanted to get my little crafty bit in this morning. So, um, if you love books, like I love books, reading or making them, uh, you are, truly a uh, kindred spirit to me, I guess. So um, take care. God bless. Happy crafting and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.